I could hear my father's voice He would tell me to move on He would say I'll be just fine Yeah He would tell me we have time Time to laugh and time to heal Our favorite song is on repeat Drinking wine until the dawn So hey everybody, it's Mickey, and in today's video we are doing a little fall prep here in the kitchen. I have two great recipes to share with you and we are going to be reorganizing the pantry to get it ready for the season. So if you are new here and do like DIY, decor, organizing, cooking, and planning videos, I hope you'll take a minute to subscribe. I put out new videos every week about all things home. I want to thank Cricut for sponsoring today's project, but before we get into that, I have an awesome fall crock pot meal to share with you. So today we are making my version of beef tips and gravy. This recipe is so easy and it's really perfect for fall days or you know, just about any day of the year. It gets better the longer you cook it, so I wanna get it going this morning so that we can have it later on this afternoon for dinner. So you are going to need about three small packages of beef stew meat. You could also cut up your own roast, but I just think the pre-cut packages really make this meal so quick to put together. You'll also need one chopped small onion, a package of browned gravy, one can of cream of mushroom soup, about a cup of beef broth. I use a bunch of seasonings in this. I like to use garlic powder, Mrs. Dash, salt and pepper, a little bit of red pepper flakes, some hot sauce, a little Worcestershire sauce, and you will be needing some corn starch a little bit later in the recipe. To get started, open your packages and get all of your stew meat in the crock pot. Then season the meat really well with all the spices. You don't really need to be afraid of using too much spice in this recipe because it all adds to the flavor. Chop up the small onion and add it to the pot. In a small bowl, combine the cream of mushroom soup, about a cup of the beef broth, and a package of beef gravy. Whisk this all together really well and pour over the top of the meat. You can stir the meat around a little bit just to make sure everything is covered well. Cover with the lid and cook on high for three to four hours or on low four to five hours. About 30 minutes or so before it's done, mix about a tablespoon of corn starch with a little warm water and stir into the crock pot. Let it cook until the gravy is thickened. I like to serve this over some creamy mashed potatoes with mixed vegetables, but you can also serve this over rice or egg noodles. This is really one of our family favorites. Okay, so now the project that we are gonna be working on today is getting my small kitchen pantry into shape. Now I have had these containers and set up organized this way for about a year now and it has really worked out perfectly. I just want to make everything more permanent. So what we are going to be doing today is creating labels for all of these containers. I have had previously used my label maker to make temporary tags for everything and now that I am sure that this is the way this cabinet is going to be set up, I want things to be a little bit more permanent and uniform. As you can see, I have a few different types of containers in here. I have my mason jars, airtight lidded containers, and large and small open trays. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is to remove all the old labels that are currently on these containers, and then I need to measure out the different sizes I want the new labels to be. So I've started a list here in a little notebook of all the different sizes and the names of the containers I need to cut out. I've removed all the old labels, and now I'm I am ready to create the new ones.
So for this job, I am going to be using my Cricut Explore Air 2. If you are unfamiliar with Cricut, it is the most awesome craft cutting machine. It can cut so many different materials. You can use it to create just about anything. I love using my Cricut for seasonal creations, but I think my favorite use is organizing my home. I have my list of labels, I have my Cricut, so let's get started. Heading over to Cricut Design Space, here on the homepage there are a bunch of new projects as always to help you with your creativity. For our project today, we will be going into Canvas. Creating labels is probably the easiest thing to do with your Cricut. Click on the T for text on the left hand of your screen and a box will appear for you to put in your text. At the top of the screen is where you can choose your font. Now Cricut has hundreds to choose from and you can even upload your own. The one I'm going to be using today is called DJ Flirt, which is already on your Cricut machine. Pull that one up and you're ready to create your label. You can upload several labels at a time, but for this demo, I'm just gonna be using Pancake Mix for our first label. Now for this container, it needs to be about six inches long, and it's so easy to adjust the size of your label by just moving the sizing bar up and down. Once you have it set, hit the Make It button at the top of the screen, and it'll bring you to the cutting screen to create your label. majority of my labels are going to be cut out of black matte vinyl. I've been buying vinyl in bulk on the Cricut website, which saves you a ton of money, and I just use my cutting board and a Zacto blade to measure everything out. I'll put links in the description box down below of all the different items that I'm using today so that you can take a look at them for yourself. Once all the labels are cut out, I weed out the excess vinyl, lay some transfer tape over it, and the label is ready to be applied to the container. I just repeat this whole process until all the labels are created. I have quite a pile of labels here. They're all cut out and ready to go. Now I just have to apply them to the containers. I am all done and everything is organized and I really think that it looks great. The best thing about this project is that these labels took all of the different containers that I have used in this pantry to organize and made them all look cohesive and coordinated. Decanting all of your pantry items saves you so much space and creates a beautifully organized and orderly appearance. So now I have my long-term food storage room downstairs completely organized and labeled. I have my small pantry here in the kitchen completely done. I only have one more small pantry area left to do, but I'm gonna start working on that next week. This was such a great fun project. You guys will have to let me know in the comments section down below what you think. And now I have another really awesome fall recipe to share with you. So I have the absolute best banana bread recipe I have ever tried. This will now replace my tried and true Paula Deen banana bread recipe that I have used for years. This recipe contains cream cheese, which I have found whenever you add cream cheese to a recipe, it kicks it up like a hundred notches. So I found this on a website called sugardishme.com and I'm gonna leave a link to it down below for you because trust me, you are going to want to try this recipe. If I could hear my father's voice, he would tell me to move 
born He would say I'll be just fine Yeah He would tell me we have time Time to laugh and time to heal Our favorite song is on repeat Drinking wine until the dawn This recipe makes two large, beautiful loaves of banana bread. They freeze well, and they make really delicious French toast. So check down below for the link to this recipe and any other links mentioned in today's video. So thank you all so much for watching today. I hope you guys will leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you are looking forward to this coming fall as much as I am. Fall is my favorite time of year, and I think this year especially, I am hoping for all good things. Please join our communities over on Facebook and Instagram at My Bashful Life, and don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you all back as part of our YouTube family. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have. Be kind to each other, stay safe, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.